Thomas Halleck here, University of South Florida, St. Petersburg. Today's three-minute lesson involves the Tierra de la Peregrinación, or the Strip of Wandering, also known as the Botarini Codice. It is the Aztec Mexica migration story. Let me hit the slide here. This is a long strip or codice or painted manuscript that is in the National Museum in Mexico. Those are my feet there, you can see. And I'm gonna walk you through it. Here we are at Atslan in the year one flint, as indicated by the, by the time glyph in the center, that oval and the one indicate it is the beginning of the Aztec Mexica year. And the priest is having a consultation with Huitzilopochtli, the hummingbird god. Those candy canes are coming out, uh, the speech bubbles coming out. You can read these manuscripts if you give them a shot. So the four Aztec Mexica god, um, chiefs go out leaders, caciques, go out on a migration, they wander, they wander, they wander, they wander. And these manuscripts are readable by us. They function as rebuses. I guess that would be rebuy in the plural. So in the bottom there, that is a petal or a hill or a town. And on the top is a snake, which is coatl. So the town on the right there would be coatl petal. And that is how you read it. You put these together. And one with the priest would hang the manuscript up on the wall and recount the story from these images. So a cool thing about these is that they're combining time and space. The petal on the, I'm sorry, the, the town or the place is indicated there on the left. And then the time glyphs on the Mesoamerican calendar are indicating how many times they spent in that particular time, uh, in that particular spot. So they get to, after quite a bit of wandering, the town of um, Chapultepec, and that is indicated by Grasshopper Hill. From there, they have a little bit of a, they have a little bit of a skirmish, and they are reduced to wearing skins again, living in a swamp, it's a horrible thing. And then they come back and through a series of successive crises, um, through a series of successions, they establish Tenochtitlan and gain the upper hand in the Central Valley of Mexico. My point, there are hundreds and hundreds of, there were hundreds and hundreds of these painted manuscripts. Many got destroyed during the Inquisition, but still there are enough there that we can read them today. And part of the magic of reading early American literature is we teach ourselves how to read these things. Even if it's only in a rudimentary way, you can gain enough confidence that you can begin to tease out these, how the story is being told. And that's one of the things that I want you to think about in turn as students of literature. How is this story being told? How does this text work? And how can I teach myself to read it? Thank you very much. Peace out.